George Zimmerman is expected to make his first court appearance later this afternoon, and his lawyers plan to ask the judge for bond. Zimmerman, a neighborhood watch volunteer, is now charged with second-degree murder in the shooting death of 17-year-old Trayvon Martin. ABC's T.J. Winnick has the latest from Sanford, Florida. His whereabouts a mystery for weeks, George Zimmerman arrived at the Seminole County Jail last night. Earlier in the day, the special prosecutor announced a more severe charge against the former neighborhood watch captain than anticipated. He filed an information charging Z George Zimmerman with murder in the second degree. A capius has been issued for his arrest. Hearing the news here in Sanford, many cheered the arrest. Watching it all unfold from Washington, Trayvon Martin's parents. On Good Morning America, Martin's father was asked about the words he wants to hear from George Zimmerman about his son's death. I just want to hear the truth from him. I would ask him why Trayvon um, and why couldn't he have just stayed in his vehicle as the dispatcher instructed him to do. Also on GMA, Zimmerman's new defense attorney insists his client is sorry he shot and killed the unarmed teenager. Without question about the tragic way that Trayvon Martin passed, no question he is sorry for that happening. He, he wished, of course, none of this had ever happened. Zimmerman faces a minimum 25 years in prison if convicted of killing Trayvon Martin that fateful night in February. He says it was self-defense, claiming the teen was the aggressor. The jury's going to have to decide, do they believe that this was second-degree murder, or do they accept the defense here, which is that he was, quote, standing his ground. At his court appearance this afternoon, Zimmerman's attorney is expected to ask that his client be allowed to post bail and be released from custody. T.J. Winnick, ABC News, Sanford, Florida. In the meantime, here in Northeast Ohio and across this country, there have been rallies by people demanding justice for Trayvon. Khalid Samad organized a gathering at Public Square recently. He said he thought the voice of the people was responsible for Zimmerman's arrest. I think that it will give people what they need to take a breath. You know, we're not, we won't go over it because it's just the first step. You know, uh, he's, got, he's got a right to, you know, defend himself, and we, and we believe in, you know, due process. Khalid Samad, a community activist in the city of Cleveland. On our Facebook page, we're asking you if you feel the Trayvon Martin case has caused more racial tension in this country. Log on to the Facebook.com slash WEWS5 and tell us what you think.